Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a, a reading for July 2018 for you. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. We're going to get a past, present, and future. These cards are going to come out upright. It's just the way the deck is, okay? has a few extra cards, so I'm just going to keep it upright. The clarifiers, if they come out reversed, then we'll, we'll keep them reversed. And this will be the only special edition reading. I'll go right back to my old ways with my next segment. This is for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know? This is for Libra. Oh, I'm flipping it, but you saw it come out reverse. It's the star card reverse. You may have lost hope, and you're being called to have hope. Okay, it's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. If you've lost something, it was God's protection because reversed is protection. Okay, you were being protected even though you may not have seen it. Okay, there is some sort of renewal here on the horizon. Or this is what happened in the past. Maybe you have gone through some sort of renewal. You've gone through some sort of healing. This is the present and the future. So past, present, future. So it looks like you guys right now at this time are going through some mental conflict. That is the two of swords. That is avoiding the truth. Avoiding the truth of a situation. Ignoring the truth. Okay. And you're being called to move on from it. To to do something. To move out of that, that mental conflict. To restore the hope that's been lost. In the past something made you very very happy. It did. And you may have lost. That's why that hope came out reversed. That star card came out reversed. Because you may have lost hope that this wish was ever going to come true. Because at one time it made you very, very, very happy. You know, what I see at this time, it could be completed. Whatever this cycle is. Because that, that universe card is the world card. It's completion. So it appears that one phase of your life is completed. It's completed. And you may be com conflicted about this completion. Maybe it's not what you wanted. It wasn't your wish fulfillment. Because this is wish fulfillment. And this they're both wish fulfillment cards. Now this is in the past. This one did come out reversed. I flipped it. So I think that there's a completion of something that once made you very, very happy. And now you, now the thing is, and now you may feel like things are a little chaotic. Because this is the two of pentacles. You may feel like this is a little overwhelming for you. Um, you have the judgment card. Patience, patience, patience. This is the temperance card. Then we have the four of sword or the four of pentacles. Okay. So it, it feels as though you guys have been. Really. Feeling empty inside. You've been feeling really empty inside about this this completion, this ending, this ending. It's not something you wanted to end. Something has ended that you did not want to end. And it feels like now you feel like your foundation, your inner foundation or something is not intact. You're feeling a little lost at this time, okay? Because something has ended um, that you didn't want to end, that you didn't, you know... It wasn't what you were hoping for. That's for darn sure. I feel as though some truth has been revealed. And this is this is the past. This is the present. This is the future. But I am going to look at diagonals. And I'm just going to put it all together. And I am going to get clarifiers. You guys have to make a decision. There has been some sort of big, big movement. Because we have motion here and we have movement here. So something has changed. Something has changed. And now you have to... You probably reach some sort of crossroads and you have to really move forward. You're being called to move forward. You know, because that's the two of wands. It's either you stay where you're at or you move forward. But the thing is, is this wherever you were at, that cycle is completed. It's over. That middle card is a completion. A lesson has been learned. But I'm feeling like you're mentally conflicted with this lesson. 
But you know, it takes it does take patience to come with grip to, to grips with it, with a change. Okay, when something changes so drastically that you once were full, so fulfilled with, it does cause mental conflict, it does cause despair, and it does cause restlessness. So I feel like you guys are going to need to be patient as this cycle ends and this new cycle begins. Really be patient. Um, give time to yourself. Allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to retreat. Okay, because something has been shed from your past. Something has been, the past is being released. And you may, that may not be what you want. But this, this karmic lesson, because this is the judgment card and it does represent karma. This karmic lesson, the world card is a lesson. This karmic lesson is completed. It's completed. And I feel like, you know, you're being called to move on from it, but you're reluctant. You're reluctant to accept the truth okay because in the other decks that's the two of swords where she has the blindfold on she's turning a blind eye to the truth you know and you're being called to have faith and trust in this new beginning that's opening up in front of you but you've lost your hope and you need to find that hope this you have been protected from something and you have a new beginning right in front of you but right now you're feeling quite empty and maybe even feeling empty and dead inside like your whole foundation has been shook to the core. Now, twos are about faith and trust. and It's also about your foundations. You have to. You have to take the next step with twos, okay? This two, that equals two. Two, two, okay? So two. We have twos here. You have to have faith and trust on a new in a new foundation. And I can really see that. And it's time to take that next step to bring balance back to your life. And these are both balance cards. And you are Libra. You're about balance. And it's time. It's time to bring that balance back to your life right now. Right now, it's time to take action and s stop playing this game. It's time to stop holding on to what doesn't serve you. It's time to, to take that next step. It really is. It's time because this is take that next step. It's all about the choices that you make. Okay, it really is. Now, I said this was the Two of Wands. This is the Two of Pentacles. But I said Two of Wands for a reason. You guys you guys really have to make a decision either way. They're both decision cards. You are at a crossroads. In one situation, you need to be more flexible. You need to more, be more flexible with the changes that you are, that the universe has in store for you. The universe has changes in store for you. That will lead to better wish fulfillment, but I think you're fighting them. You're fighting the changes. That's what it looks like to me. Yes, you are. <laughs> you need to stop. Let your guard down. It's, you can't change it. You may feel like you're being attacked by, another, by the universe even, or... I mean, you may feel like somebody does maybe you feel like your God does isn't on your side. You're probably what this isn't this is this is unreal. This is unreal. Um you know, and I feel like this has to do with your home life, this has to do with your own security, your own um a commitment perhaps. It's caused a lot of worry, it's caused a lot of sleepless nights, and you're probably really, really on the defensive about this because you don't want to let it go. You don't want to let it go. You want to fight for it. But you need to stop fighting for it. It's unrealistic. It's, and that represents you. This is about abundance. This is renewal. This is rebirth, Libra. You guys are going through a rebirth right now. The universe has brought is bringing you a new beginning after a major completion. But your mental conflict is getting the best of you. You are you are being called to love yourself at this time. See your self-worth, see your abundance, let yourself shine, put your guard down, move on from this situation that is over whatever it is. That universe card is a completion and I know that some of you don't want to hear this, so you will click the thumbs down, but that's okay. Because eventually, you're going to have to learn this lesson, whether you like it or not. There is a rebirth here. 
that someone is going through that is going to bring them wish fulfillment after one door is closed, which one door is closed, and I'm not sure what this is, but a door is closed, and you don't want it to be. There's guilt here. You may feel like you did something wrong. There, 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 no, you didn't do anything wrong. This wasn't meant to be. The cycle is over. This karmic lesson has been learned. It wasn't anything you, you did. It wasn't. It feels, yeah, the, it's not destiny, okay? The karmic cycle is over in that situation. And now the wheel is spinning. It's bringing you good luck. This is a this is a turn, a turn for the better. You need to be strong. You need to look at this from a new perspective, and I know that you're having a hard time doing that. It's time to release. You've gained a lot of strength through this. You learned a lot of lessons. You have. You have. There ain't just been one lesson. There's been several. And you need to look at this as such. There's an opportunity here for something more stable and secure. A new beginning that brings you good fortune. But you have to look at this from a new perspective and stop living in this mental conflict. You guys have, one cycle has ended. You're going through some sort of rebirth, renewal, growth. And it does lead to wish fulfillment once again. But it's not with, with what the past, because this is releasing the past. Forgiveness is needed. It's time to release the past. And I know some of you would like to change this up and say, oh, no, that's another chance. Oh, no, 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 that's not another chance. I am an intuitive reader. And it's time to heal this situation that has completed. It is time to heal this situation that is completed and let the wheel spin and stop fighting destiny. Look at this from a new perspective. Don't feel guilty. Release it. Give it up. You have something that is better suited for you. Much, much, much better suited. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Scorpio here. We have Sagittarius. We have Taurus. Either way, you are being called to move forward quickly because you have something that is better suited for you that's much more exciting and it does promise growth. And even perhaps a commitment with a lot of happiness. But you need to bring the balance back to your life at this time. Twos are about balance as well. It is time to restore balance in your life after one chapter, one long-term phase has completed. It has. A karmic lesson phase has completed and you are about to start on a new one, a new long-term one that is going to be exciting and it's going to be um, challenging, but it's going to be adventurous as well. This is somebody that is much, much, much better suited for you. And it leads to something stable, secure, and happy. This person is going to see your worth. They're going to see your beauty or this situation. But you have to do it first. You, do, you have to see it from that new perspective first. You have to stop carrying around this baggage. It's too heavy and it's not serving you. You're obsessed. This is the four of pentacles. You're obsessed with something that is not serving you. You need to let go of that obsession. Oh my God. It's dead. You've reached the dead end with some situation. And it's time for you to wake up. You have an opportunity that is daring you to take it. 
but you have these fears of rejection. And you're reluctant. You're reluctant to get involved. But you should be starting to fear relief at this time. Because you've avoided a much bigger disaster. The universe has protected you from something. You have wish fulfillment elsewhere with another situation that is much better suited for you. And it feels as though this month you are being urged to look at this from a new perspective. And go down that new, that new path with excitement. Stop rejecting the new path. Somebody has been rejecting the new path. Living in loneliness. Reluctant to bring relief to them li their lives. Living in mental conflict. Trying to avoid building a new foundation. When the fact of the matter is, is that a cycle has been completed and there isn't anything that you can do about it. With that wheel and the universe, which is the world card, they're both here. A major completion has happened. It was destined to end and you can't change it. And you are being called to move on, to, to move on and find a new security that is better suited for you. You do have a new opportunity that's very exciting waiting for you as soon as you let go. You're going to have to put in effort to see things from a new perspective. You are. It's not easy. It's not. You will con the thing is, is you're, you're still bringing mild conflicts into your life because you're still observing this past situation. You're still after it. You're still stalking it, you know, or, or this can go vice versa. There's still resent, bitterness, still wanting to talk to this person, still wanting to work it out when it's dead. Not giving up. It's dead. It's dead. So, Libra, this is for July 2018. What advice for you ha do you have for Libra? Three cards. Whew. Past, present, future. You've lost your focus. You've lost your concentration. There's no confidence in this past situation. There's no more growth. There's none. Okay? This is this is a Leo, say, because it's Aries Leo Sagittarius. This would be strength, reverse. There's there's no there's there's no there's no growth here. There's no growth, there's no strength in it, there's no confidence in it. There it's not happening. It's not. In the past. It's over. The past is gone, it's over. This could be a Aries Leo Sagittarius. It's it's there's there's no more there's no more spark here could be anybody you could be dealing with anybody any sign but there's a sit there is a person in which the spark has died presently there's no romance growth there's no growth there's no relationship growth presently there isn't with whoever this person is that you are obsessed with there's an obsession here it's dead it's over In the future, your advice is to regain your focus, to re regain your, your confidence and your courage and your strength, to get creative and work hard at moving on. This is the Eight of Wands. My advice to you is to let go of this situation that has no future. It's not meant to be. You have something much, much better suited for you. And if it, this is if this is in regards to a relationship, I think it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Because wherever you've been at, there has been no relationship growth, none. Because it's done. The, that cycle in your life is over. It's time to forgive, forgive, and move on. Step out of that place of mental conflict. Find your confidence and your courage. And hold your head up high, Libra, because you have an opportunity that is very passionate waiting for you. You do have the wheel upright. Good luck is on the way. 
It's on the way. The, this temperance card is also about purpose. Everything happens for a reason. Be patient. The reason is coming into play. It will play out. There's a reason why you were protected. There's a reason why this didn't work out. Because you have something better. There's a purpose. Believe it. So Libra, I feel as though there is a new beginning on the horizon for you. And it is a major one. And it is destined to happen. To bring you together with something or someone that is much better suited for you. And it's very exciting. With a lot of passion. But you need to stop looking at the past. Don't even look at it. Block it. Oh my God. I just said block it and I look down. Look at that. That's block it. Block it. That is a blocking communication. Block that past. Block it in every direction. The phone number from your phone. And if you can't do that. Then you are then you're in trouble. You can't move on, you're stuck. You'll continue to suffer. And learn the karmic lesson. Blocking needs to happen so that you can lo you can move on. This is when I was saying stop observing it, and then I look down. This is blocking it. You have to block this, this situation that doesn't serve you and which you've been holding on to, you've been obsessed with, but they haven't been reciprocating. Don't even look at them. All that does is bring up old wounds. It brings, it'd be, okay, we have this four of swords down here. We, it does. It, and then we have the nine of swords right here. It brings up old wounds. Every single time you look at it, it hurts. Why do you keep looking? Stop. Block it so that you can heal. Okay, it's time for you to start the healing process. Every single time you look at it, whatever this situation is, it brings you backwards. Delete and block, delete all the messages, delete them all. Block the phone number so that you can grow and heal. And find the abundance that you deserve. Be your own advocate. That's what the Empress is. Let go of whatever this situation is that is dead because it's not coming back. I do apologize. It is time to block it. It's not. There's no forward movement. With that situation. There's no growth. There's no romance relationship growth here. There's no, it's not happening. Let it go. Drop it. Accept the new opportunity, the new invitation. There's a new opportunity, a new invitation waiting for you. Accept it. Talk to you next time.